motivated. Today is a day of motivation, productivity, and a time to refresh and get back on track. After stretching, going out on a walk, and washing up, I get hydrated and start making my breakfast. Today, I'm making my simple two recipe of two ingredient banana pancakes with yogurt and fruit slices. I'm currently a sophomore at UC Berkeley pursuing simultaneous degrees in global business and interdisciplinary studies in art, experience design, and psychology. It's definitely a handful, so I just say that I study business and design. One great thing about pursuing interdisciplinary design is that I get to take a wide breadth of classes across all different creative fields in design, complemented by art and psychology. So I get to make design that looks good and feels good. Not gonna lie, I have a memory of a goldfish, so I have to write down everything I need to get done today in my bullet journal. As a mini ritual that I'm starting to pick up, I'm trying to do 5 to 10 minutes of quick sketches of people and facial features just to get myself warmed up. first thing in the morning is check my emails and then get started with my tasks for my part-time job. For my part-time job, I work at UC Berkeley's Entrepreneurship Center, so I'll be spending the next hour or so editing videos, designing, and creating Zoom filters before my meeting. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay, cool. And then the last one. Perfect. Bye. Then I realized that today might be my mom's birthday. It's kind of confusing because we usually celebrate it based on the lunar calendar, but Facebook told me otherwise. Three years ago on Mother's Day, I tried to make a giant pizzuki for my mom, but I accidentally used salt instead of sugar, so today I'm going to redeem myself. After lunch, I'm going to get back to work and go to my classes. Today is honestly the best day to film this video because I have a lot of things to do. 
As a designer on my school's fashion show team, I'm just practicing drafting up a few fashion sketches. A fun fact, if you don't know already, is I use beauty and wellness products as my art medium. So I use eye pencil, eyeliner, setting spray, hairspray, all that fun stuff to create these sketches. Before my next meeting with the client, I'm fleshing out a low fidelity prototype design for this UI UX project. Also, this design tool I'm using is called Figma and I use it a lot, so you'll definitely see it throughout this video. So next up, we're going to also go over our revised flow as well as our information architecture so the user doesn't feel too overwhelmed with all sorts of information. All right, so I just finished my meeting and now I'm gonna look at Airbnbs because in around a month, I'm gonna be moving to New York, which is really exciting, but also nerve wracking. And I'll be there for around two to three months for my internship. I've never lived anywhere outside of the Bay Area my entire life, so, if you or if you know anyone who lives in New York, please let me know. <laughs> I'm also looking for housing for next semester because I'll be moving back to Berkeley. Ooh, I didn't realize how many things there are to do in New York in the Manhattan area. Like, it's crazy. I'm so used to living in a neighborhood suburban area that doesn't really have much. Now I'm going to be working on a side art project where I'm using makeup wipes and beauty and wellness products again. This is just a sneak peek and the full, more exciting version will be released later. With some free time, I'm going to get some more work done, so first getting started with a few final project assignments. I'm currently creating sticky notes on Figma to jot down key findings from user interviews based on social media platform design for my social psychology and information technology class. Next, I'm going to work on more client design work, first starting off with some preliminary concept sketches on my iPad for client social media post designs, and then I'm going to go back to Figma to create a few mood boards for a product photo shoot happening a week later. So yes, I do all sorts of design from graphic to illustration to fine arts to UX, you name it. And to create some story highlight designs, I'm just going to do some calligraphy using Procreate on my iPad. I'm leveraging data to help bring to life 
the experiences of many different people and groups. And that my goal in collecting my data is to uplift those experiences and make them visible. So that we focus on the psychosocial issues. So Bruce has to manage the space vehicle. For my industrial design and human factors class, my team and I are redesigning a fashionable and ergonomic bag for women to carry on their commute to work. So for now, I'm going to create some bag concept design sketches, once again with my eye pencil. And in between my work, I also try to fit in a few indoor workouts. So I was doing the laundry and then I found a luggage with all of the stuff that I apparently left in college that I didn't unpack yet. And I found this guy. <gasps> apparently the class schedule for next semester has come out already? Berkeley isn't really seen as a design school, but personally I feel that it adds so much to my interdisciplinary design studies. Because Berkeley loves innovation and entrepreneurship so much, it's really big on design thinking more than visual design. So a lot of the projects and classes I take are framed around design innovation. So ruler, the R is for recognizing emotions. You know, like, I'm going to do this every day because, like, that's my goal, but that it's not really about that. Yeah, that's not what, you know, what the mindset should be going into it. Now I'm going to be working on an assignment for my art class. So we're supposed to create a piece that merges two things. It's super open-ended, so I combined a map of where my family is from and a map of the Silicon Valley Bay Area, which is where I'm from, using makeup, of course, to create a pair of lips that also looks like a motherboard from all the streets from the map. I'm also using gold eyeliner to highlight the tech element, and it's supposed to merge two sides of myself and where I come from. Alright, so now I'm going to film a few videos for the L'Oreal Brandstorm competition. I'm super excited to be participating in this year's L'Oreal National USA. At this point, it is already past nighttime, but I made a bet with my friend where I Venmoed her 25 bucks, and if I don't run seven miles a day, then she'd keep the money. So I have around three more miles to finish in less than an hour. It wasn't until after I ran and showered when I realized that there was something I had to put on makeup for to create some mock-ups for a platform I'm designing for the L'Oreal Brandstorm competition. I had to be my own fake model and draw on a random design on my eye. I never put on any artsy makeup before, so I definitely really struggled with this one.
While I was doing last minute readings, I heard a ton of chirping so I went to check on my chicks who literally inhaled their food and water in the past 30 minutes so I just went ahead and refilled them. Today was a long and productive day, but there's still so much more to do tomorrow, so I'll see you all next time, and good night.